But we can agree that there is a resilient microbiome and a resilient microbiome is a healthy microbiome, something that can bounce back after an illness, after traveler's diarrhea, anything, you know, or a trip to Mexico, you come back and you're able to handle it. That becomes that res resilient microbiome and a resilient microbiome is a microbiome that is rich in diversity. You have a lot of species richness and species evenness. And by that, I mean lots of different species of microbes, bacteria, fungi, and also uh, you don't have an overgrowth of any one particular kind of microbe. So we, it's, it's, I, I usually use a garden analogy uh, instead of a hundred tomato plants and one poor zucchini plant, you just want a little bit more evenness in the garden. And uh, for that, from an evolutionary standpoint, we have handed over the digestion of fiber to our microbial partners, and they look at it as fuel. So when we eat anything, and I have been asked this, you know, where do you get your fiber from? It's plant sources. It does not come from the animal kingdom. It comes from plant sources. So anytime you eat uh, any vegetable or bean or lentil or anything like that, there's an undigested part of the plant source, which is fiber. And, and the microbes, it goes undigested through your entire uh, digestive tract to the colon. And these microbes are excited and waiting for, the, for their fuel. They eat it and they produce metabolites. These metabolites, especially uh, butyrate, uh, is fantastic for us. They, uh, it really helps us in so many different ways, um, decreasing inflammation, helping us with in insulin sensitivity, um, even um, metabolic um, you know, um, conditions. Really, it really does help with that. I have seen in my practice that increasing that butyrate really, really helps with um, keeping that weight off and uh, in weight management. So yeah, they do a lot of behind the scenes for us and, um, it re and fiber is the main source. And um, I think most of the research is showing that you need to have a diversity of these fiber sources. And by that, I mean like soluble, insoluble, prebiotic fibers, because not all fibers are prebiotic in nature. So you want prebiotic fibers that help you grow um, uh, bacteria that support you.